um, now many people are talking about longevity. Mm-hmm. Many people are talking about staying away from simple sugars or t- um, sugary foods or refined foods, right? There's a reason behind why we do that, and there are certain mechanisms which are associated with improving healthy aging, improving longevity, and how these high blood sugar levels are causing a concern in today's time. Let me put it this way: we have heard about something called advanced glycation end products. Short form is ages. So, if we eat food in a way that it is causing continuous spikes and troughs in our glucose levels in the body, or we are eating foods in a way that our post meal blood glucose is spiked every time, a lot of research and articles are showing that these spikes, continuous spikes in the post meal blood glucose levels, or continuous spikes and troughs in the blood glucose patterns. Are increasing these advanced glycation end products. So this there's a process called glycation, where this excess glucose will not sit quiet. This long-term chronic excess glucose in the blood goes and binds to proteins, uh, fats, and even DNA, and causes this products called ages. So these way ages are very active in the blood. They pile up over time. As over time your blood glucose has been high or post meal glucose has been high, these ages pile up, and they affect these proteins that they are bound to in a certain way that there is a process called cross-linking. It cross-links, suppose there is a cross-linking happening in the skin. So collagen is very important for elasticity of the skin, right? So these ages, when they cross-link to collagen or protein in the skin, we develop wrinkles. I think that is an indirect way to say that maybe you are aging faster than you are. If we see a lot of wrinkles in a person who is just 30s or 40s, we say, you are looking old. It's not that they're just looking old; it's that they're aging faster. So one way is because we are harboring a lot of ages mm-hmm. because of the chronic high blood glucose levels, and this cross-linking is not just happening in the skin, not just wrinkles. We are also losing elasticity of the blood vessels. Suppose these ages go and accumulate in the blood vessels, we develop hypertension, we develop something called endothelial dysfunction. We are at a risk for cardiovascular diseases. So that is how early aging is linked to diabetes. High um, cholesterol, stroke, uh, or even high blood pressure, even uh, heart attacks, cardiac uh, um, causes. So that is how ages or production of advanced glycation end product is affecting almost every condition in the body, and that is how we are developing every other problems. After diabetes, we are at risk for cardiovascular diseases, hypertension, all sorts of things. So this is one.